So I apologize for the noise. We're right off the highway uh, in a parking lot here. So good and safe. But uh, anyway, this one is a 2001 Bluebird rear engine with a power steering leak. Uh, so here's the power steering pump here, mounts to the back of the air compressor. And that small line there, that one, um, it's a flexible line, steel braided line uh, about to the front, in front of the rear axle. Um, and from there it turns into a solid line that goes to the front uh, near the steering gear, near the front axle, and then it turns rubber or into a flexible line again. So um, I did crawl underneath and I'm gonna go ahead and start pulling this line out. Uh, I do have plugs, so we should be able to cap everything off and minimize the amount of uh, spilling, leaking fluid we have uh, on, in this parking lot. All right, so I don't know if you can see that from here, but uh, let's see, it's that line that's on the right side. So right up against the shock there, um, about where it's touching the shock or going behind the shock. Um, in the image is where the line is blown. Uh, it's lost its outer sheathing, protective sheathing for power steering pressure line, supply line to the steering gear. Uh, and you can see on the frame rail we've got oil dripping down. So let me switch to the other side of the axle and see if I've got a better picture for that and I can show you there. All right, so here's that image there. There's a coupler here where it goes from a flexible line to a hard line. And you can see that there. It looks okay. Uh, we do have a bit of moisture around this coupler. So we'll see if we can clean that off. But yeah, I think that the primary leak is there where that P-clamp is. So I'm going to go ahead and, and start uh, pulling this hose out. I do have plugs, so I can plug the lines and uh, kind of just go from there and get them. Basically, just where I'm going to that line out. It does go from here, it goes to the steering gear, so it goes back to the engine compartment. I'm sorry, not the steering gear, it goes to the steering pump, uh, hydraulic pump. So, the hydraulic pump on these, I believe, are split in two. Um, so, it's basically a piggyback system where you have two separate pumps or two separate circuits. Um, and so anyway, we just got to pull the line off for this line. We're going to run into Napa and get a new one built at the same dimensions. So let's see how it goes. Alright, so this is the bus that I did the power steering line on the other day. That blew on the going down the road. So I inspected this hose here. It's the upper hose on the steering gear uh, for signs of wear. And I found back, so here's the hose, continues on. And right around here, oh let me get a light up in there. Uh, you can see that the outer sheathing is starting to, to come off. Um, indicating that the, the rubber is starting to fail and we have the rust marks from the braid. So here's the really bad, really bad spot here on that. So as a preventative measure, we're going to, customer wants to go ahead and replace this line as well. Uh, should be pretty straightforward. So there's the uh, solid tube. I believe it's a copper tube that it connects to and then it's like a nine or ten foot hose going from here to the steering gear. So I'm going to go ahead and pull that out and uh, head to Napa, get a new one built, and then install it. All right, so there's our hose. I'm going to go ahead and spray it with some brake clean just to get some of that dirt where dry them off before I go ahead and remove it. Uh, I've also got a plug here to cap off the line, cap off the gear. So I'm going to put that in when I get to that point. What I'm going to do is cap that right there, put it right there. I can sit up in this place a little bit. Oh, 
those. Cooperate, so we're going to catch this one real quick. Oh, dang, I missed our bucket. Of course, I missed the bucket. Every time. Well, it seems like every time anyway. Alright, so we slowed the leaking. So this is uh, just 1030 engine oil. Nothing, nothing special or fancy about it. It doesn't even need to be synthetic. And uh, yeah, Blue Board just uses that on these as the hydraulic oil, which runs the power steering, as well as the hydraulic fan, cooling fan for the engine. So it's not a belt driven fan, it's a hydraulic driven, it's a hydraulic motor on the, uh, to spin the fan to pull air across the radiator. So that's what we got. So that's what we're using. 30. that later when I'm done, but just to keep it from leaking all over the place. But now I'll wipe it down. So it's got this P clamp, P cell clamp there. So now I need to take out those two clamps.
that's so the next bolt there. That one is a half. Let's see if we can get to it from the top. room to get the socket on the head because the clamp position. So I'm going to see if I can this guy out. make it any bit easier on us. something like that. Alright, so we're able to zip that bolt out. Let's see if we can get this clamp off. One hand it can be kind of tricky sometimes. Over. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that's the next culprit right there. for the hard line side of this hose and then I'm going to use a rubber glove on the exercise wrench. This one has a blown out thumb. This one in the bare leader. So tie the thumb up back behind. So I guess I do need to pull the the hose the rest of the way out. Actually, oh, Nope. 
There it is. About a nine foot hose. And the idea here is put the threads on. Time to start running my hose through. So the hose comes through. Right here. And it goes up. And there's a hole right there. One on the left is our new line. So now we've got it routed here. I'm going to go ahead and finish clamping. This hose needs to come down here. Put the clamp there. Put the clamp there. Should take my wallet out of my pocket because it is super uncomfortable. Alright, so there's our bolt. Can't really see anything. Let's try that.
Okay. That's in there. Is gonna go there. And I've got a clamp to put on right here. Try to clean these threads a little bit. So foam died, got that clamp on there and tighten it up. I've already run the engine, got all the air bubbles out of the hydraulic system, power steering system, cycling like lock to lock. The steering gear is good to go, no leaks. So now just double check our routing, make sure nothing's rubbing, that'll be okay. Looks good. Good. I want to make sure we're off that tank there, which we are. There is a gap there above it, and we are tied up. Look for leaks there, and that looks looks good. <laughs> 